guys, so I haven't done a boob job update in a while, and as you can see, I do have boobs, so I figured I would do a boob job update. I've been getting so many questions from people asking me, you know, my favorite bras, about just basically updates about um, my boob job. Just basically updates about my boob job, and I figured that it has been around four months, I'm pretty much, I'd say, completely healed. I still get so many questions and comments on my boob job videos on Instagram and on YouTube that I wanted to film this video for you guys today. I get a lot of questions about my size and the amount of CCs I got and everything that I got. So just for reference, I am 5'3", and right now I weigh like 112 pounds and I got 300 cc's moderate profile of silicone. So that is just to get it out in the open. But as you can see, my boobs look a lot bigger and that is because of my favorite bra. And I have tried so many bras and for the longest time I was just all about the bralettes and buy bras and then I would return them because I just felt like so big and so heavy and so, like armor on me and I hated it. In like November of last year I did a video about how to fake bigger boobs without going under the knife. And even though I did go under the knife, I knew that a lot of women who did have breast augmentations or did have larger breasts to begin with, boobs, I hate the word breast, still use the up bra. I decided to go ahead and order myself one because obviously the 34A did not fit me anymore. My current size right now is a 34D or a 36C. So if you are unfamiliar with the up bra, I'm wearing one right now underneath a bralette but if you're unfamiliar with the up bra it is basically the miracle push-up bra if there is one bra that you are willing to invest in it should be the up bra what makes this bra so special is how it pushes you up there's little pulls and the more you pull the more cleavage you get for an everyday look like this I mean I like to wear it when I'm wearing like camis or stuff that you know, you just want a little something. When I'm not wearing an up bra, my boobs are definitely there. I was flat as a board before. They're not like super cleavagey. And when I got my boobs done, I didn't want, I could have gotten, you know, 400 cc's, whatever, but I didn't want to get a, a surgery where it would look like I had my boobs out all the time. I wanted something that looked really natural on my frame. But that's why the up bra is so good. It's because I could still have like the best of both worlds. I can have my boobs pushed up to, to, to really high on me. I can also just wear a bralette and the, they still look pronounced they still look big but they're not just like this in your face. What's also so amazing about the up bra is that it still works even though it's strapless and I would have so many issues with other strapless bras that would just feel like they would fall down like as you can see it is completely strapless and they're still holding up my boobs and making them you know up there. I got a lot of questions about my favorite bra and if I'm not wearing a bralette or if I am wearing a bralette but my boobs look a lot more pronounced it's because I'm wearing the up bra. I'll show you a little before and after. This is obviously the after and this is the before so as you can see like I said my boobs are still there but they're just um, more there when I want them to be I will link it down below I also have a discount code for you guys but I highly 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 recommend this and even when I was flat chested it did wonders for me so okay so now let's get into some of the other questions are you happy with the size do you wish you went smaller or bigger I am pretty happy with the size and I measure a 34d or a 36c which is pretty much what I wanted like everyone who has a boob job says, I feel like afterwards you're always like, oh, I could have gone a little bit bigger. Maybe if I would have gone 330cc, like I would have, I wouldn't mind being bigger, but I'm not like unhappy with my size, if that makes any sense. I like the way I look in clothes, I like the way I feel in clothes, in bathing suits, like I just feel a million times more confident. I just think it's a really good size for me, so I'm pretty happy with the size. Would you do another plastic surgery? No, I've always said that from the beginning, but I don't know if you consider lip injections to be a plastic surgery. I do love the look of bigger lips, that's why I love lip liner. I don't know if you consider lip injections to be a plastic surgery. I don't think it's that invasive, so I don't really consider a plastic surgery. Do you have to wear a bra now? No, I don't have to wear a bra. I could go braless, but I like wearing a bra. I just feel more safe. It's kind of just like how I don't like to go commando. I don't like to go without a bra. Did you get any stretch marks or anything? Do you have full sensation back yet? No, I did not get any stretch marks and I was never like a big sensation person with my boobs to begin with, so I think I got it all back. I don't know. It was I was it was never something I was really concerned about. How old are you when you got them? Do you regret getting them done? I was 19. I'm still 19 until Tuesday and hell no, I don't regret getting them done. It was the best frivolous decision of my life. 
by far. Is there anything you can't wear anymore that you could wear when you had smaller boobs? No, uh, because I didn't go too crazy big. I there hasn't been anything that I wanted to wear that I haven't been able to wear. Do you catch guys staring at your boobs more now? Honestly, I don't wear a lot of low cut or revealing things. Most of the time, if you see me out, I will be wearing like a wild fox sweater, or like a t-shirt or something. I really don't go out with a ton of revealing things. But yeah, like I, put, I wore an outfit um, to the Kevin Hart comedy show and it was like black shorts and a black cami and I had my up bra, up bra on. And yes, I did get more, I guess, more looks. Never relied on my body to get attention from guys. Like whether it was like my butt or my boobs or anything, I never really relied on it to get attention. Is it uncomfortable to sleep on your stomach? It's not uncomfortable, but it's not like the most comfortable, if that makes any sense. I like to kind of, I'm a side sleeper, so it wasn't like a huge deal. I can lay on my stomach, like if I want to tan my back, which I hate doing. I can kind of do like a half stomach, half side thing. It's not like the most comfortable. It's not like when I was completely flat chested and I could just, you know, lay there. Are they hard? I heard that the gummies are better and feel more natural. I'm scared that when I get a boob job, they won't feel natural. I am telling you, they are not hard. Anyone who touches them, they all say, I can't believe how natural they are. They jiggle like a real boob. They move like real boobs. They're just a little bit more perky. They do feel completely real. Like, they're not hard at all. It's not like the Mean Girls movie where the mom had, like, rock hard boobs and, like, numb nipples. It's not like that at all. Was your recovery as easy as it seems in your videos? When exactly could you lift your arms or go back to work? P.S. You look fantastic. Great size choice. Thank you. My recovery, I always say this whenever anyone asks me in person, my recovery was so easy. I was so lucky. The worst part was the nausea. And really, I honestly believe that the nausea on day two was, or day three, the Saturday, the, the Friday, um, was my fault because I ate a meal that was way too heavy and then also antibiotics made me sick. Besides the nausea, I would do the surgery again tomorrow. The pain was not an issue. I didn't feel any pain. It was just tightness and honestly, I would do it again in a heartbeat. Um, when exactly could you lift your arms? The thing that was, that was um, not hard, but you couldn't really use your arms. Like, you know when you're in bed, you lift up and you can use your arms to like scooch back? I couldn't do that. I couldn't really lift my arms, I'd say for about a week and then I started being able to drive and turn like driving was weird like when you would turn the wheel it, it would like almost like you feel the implant so. what are your top tips to give to someone that is looking into a boob job research do a lot of research and don't settle on a doctor don't settle on a doctor because it's a good price or because your friend went to them it's all about how you feel with the doctor. That's why I love Dr. Sino because I felt like a connection with him and I knew he understood what I wanted. So don't settle when it comes to your doctor. Most people go through a regretful stage during the healing process of plastic surgery. Did that happen to you or have you been in love as soon as you saw them? It was love at first sight. Honestly, I had no regrets at all. Even when I was puking and I was in bed and I was crying and I was puking, I was I just was so happy because I finally had boobs and it was something that I had wanted for so long. I did not go through a, a regret stage at all because this was something that I had wanted for so long. It wasn't like I just woke up and was like, you know what, I'm going to get my boobs done today. It was something that I had really thought about, had saved so much money for, I knew it was going to be worth it in the end, and it was. It is. What are some things you wish you would have known before surgery slash recovery that would have helped you helped make your healing process more smooth? Be very careful about what you eat. Don't eat too heavy. Before you take antibiotics, eat a yogurt because the the milk and the, the dairy will coat your stomach and it'll make the antibiotics a lot less harsh on your stomach because I really think the antibiotics made me puke on the first day. How do you feel about your cleavage nowadays? Are you, are you more open to letting it show? Yes. Ever since I got the up bra, it has just been a cleavage free for all. I don't know why. I don't know why, it's just been like, I've been loving it. I've been loving the cleavage. I'm more about like subtle cleavage, like with like a cami or something. I don't like like deep low cut things, but I like, I don't know, I guess I just like knowing that it's there. Do your boobs feel hard? No. Are the scars healing well? Yes. The scars are practically non-existent. It's crazy. I haven't even been using bio oil or anything on them. They are practically non-existent. It is unbelievable how well they have healed. How long did it take for any pain slash discomfort to completely stop? I'd say probably not pain or discomfort, but like the tightness. April 26th, I went to a party that was 11 days after my surgery. And I'd say that I was still pretty tired, like doing like things like going out with my sister or whatever would tire me out, but I wasn't in any pain. Like I went to the party, I did things, so um, in terms of like the pain and discomfort, there wasn't really any like 
at 10 days after the surgery. You know, I know a few girls who said they got depressed after, like because of the surgery itself and how going under affects your brain or something. Do you think that's true? I think that it could be true if they weren't doing it for the right reasons and if they weren't doing it because they truly wanted to do that, to do it. I knew after I came out of surgery, I was so happy. So, ugh, I don't know. Did they heal at different rates? I'm at six weeks post-op and one seems to be dropping faster than the other. How long did it take for them to settle and even out? Yes, I believe this one, my right boob, um, took longer to heal. Uh, to drop, not heal, but just took longer to drop. And I would all, when I would, whenever I'd use my strap, I'd always put this one down more. But everything evens out, and if there's anything to be concerned about, your doctor will deal with it. So just, you know, let nature take its course. So that was my four month post op boob job QA. As always, let me know if you have any questions down below, and I'll do another one. I'll reply to you in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.